Don't be silly, dear. Just take it in your hand. It won't bite. <laughs> That's it. Now, dip it in the ink, eh? Oh, hello. I was just teaching her to write. Why? Oh, have you been out then? Oh, yes, of course you have. I forgot. At a toilet. In a bath. Ah, your days are numbered. Beware the Ides of March. Yes, and I know my onions. I'll have her. I quite agree, daughter. She's no use to you. But don't you worry. I'll think of something to do with her. She's got gallstones and all! Yes. Well, I thought you'd like to know. There's another strike on. The eunuchs. They're complaining about loss of assets. Oh, hello. Oh, yes, and it was lovely. There was this room, see, and it was filled with lovely girls all lying about in things you could see right through. Daughter, darling, no, I haven't. And then Caesar came in and there was a lot of soldiers. Oh, I don't remember that. I was busy looking at the girls. I say. Can I come too? Oh, I thought it would make a nice change. Wherever I wander, there's no place like Rome. Oh, more wine, more, more vino. Come along, girl. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Why don't you come on in? The water's lovely. No, thank you, my lord. Oh, go on, girl. I'll let you play with my duck. Oh, he's gone to convulse the Vestal Virgins. You're quite right. Oh, no, you won't. That vision and those girls, that was the Vestals. And what's more, I can remember what happened. He was done. Ah, uh -huh. that's just it. It was them who did it. Well, he can't say I didn't warn him. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Beware of the Ides of March, I said. Yes, but an idiot like him wouldn't know that. It's difficult to tell. He always looks the same to me. He looks a big one, if you ask me. Don't you? You'll never get it back. Glad. Oh, yes. Goodbye, dear. Yes, I know, but this is more fun than saying goodbye to my daughter. Oh, goodbye, daughter. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind a little nibble, I must say. I only wanted to see what was for afters. Oh, I meant to tell you. I had a smashing vision last... Yes, stop me if you've heard it before. We were all sitting in here having a meal, see? And you went out onto the deck, and there were a gripper and all the other officers with their dirty great swords hanging out. Most enjoyable it was. Well, they sliced your head in two and... Oh, good! I've never had a vision come true before. I told you. Your head will be sliced completely in two. He's quite right, you know. You'll pardon me, but it is my business. After all, it was my vision. If we ever get to Alexandria. Well, haven't you noticed? There's nobody rowing. In. Out. In. Out. I know a bit about sign language. Let me tell him. Now, look here, my good man. That is Caesar, you know. And he wants an alliance with Cleopatra. No, no, no. He means at cock crow. Evening, cock. Beware. The Ides of March. The time has come. I've seen the writing on the wall. Look what I found in the marketplace. He can see into the future. Now, go on, then. You wait until you hear what he's got to say. Now, tell them what you told me. Cool. Cool. Now, that's what I call a vision. Who is she? He's coming to. Hurry up with that water. Oh, forget it. Try and remember you're in Egypt. They only have dirty pictures here. We've seen visions. Oh, they were lovely. Yes, that one was quite good, but I prefer the one of her in her bath. You're quite right. She was a bit much here and there. You're quite right. You promised them an alliance. Oh, Arabe. I believe they're intense lovers. No, you're quite right. Tents are too drafty. Yeah, wait a minute. Cleopatra doesn't know what you look like, does she? Well, supposing someone were to pretend to be you, someone who was strong and handsome and vital. Oh, can't I stay and watch? <laughs> wait for me! Wait for me! Wait for me! Just call me Ern. <laughs>